Real part of the black shirt, and I'm with Bach. Yeah, it's just me and Bach for the next oh, hour and 20 minutes. Oh, Bach, uh, what we want to talk about today, Bach? What you got? You want to start on your half first? Yeah, there's there's plenty to talk about here in the college football world. I want to start with uh, some more 1890 initiative because I just saw this in the, within the last five minutes. It's, uh, Cam Linhart has been signed by the 1890 initiative within the last five days. You've had uh, uh, Cam Linhart, Nash Hutmacher, Elijah Judy, Eric Gilbert, Brian Buschini, MJ Sherman, Stefan Wynn, Nate Borkature, Marky Spuford, Jamari Butler, and Jacob Hood all signing with the 1890 initiative. It's kind of interesting as we as we go through these, and these are all names that you would expect to, um, you know, compete and be, you know, big parts of the teams in this upcoming year. Um, but I'm I'm kind of starting to pay close attention to it because as we get to the spring, of course, there's the, the scholarship guys are going to have to be cut down. Um, there's going to be a few things that that we and, and we're just kind of left to speculation right now. What's going to happen with that? Um, as far as you know, the, you know who's going to make it, who's going to not. You don't want to do that, um, you know, on the radio or or you know publicly. You just kind of it, it, it's out there. Um, but I think these guys you would you would think are, are pretty safe. I mean, if they're they're signing up nil deals that they look like they that their plans are in fold with the the football team. Um, and but you know the other part about it too is. How, you know, how big, how much can the 1890 initiative maybe help a guy two, three, five, ten? 10? Um, if they don't get scholarships, they're counted as walk-ons, but that, you know, the 1890 initiative steps up or whatever it is, you know, it doesn't have to be 1890, but that seems to be the biggest collective. One of the collectives steps up and, and can give Nebraska scholarship level players as walk-ons. Um, I don't know if, if that is, is, part of this this giant plan with Matt Rule. I don't know if, if more of the plan is just to have an NFL-style training camp where, unfortunately, guys are going to get cut at the end and it's just going to be that competitive. Um, I can't wait to see how it plays out. This is one of the most intriguing springs, and, in fact, probably the most intriguing spring because of that. Um, usually a new coach comes in. That's always interesting. But just to have this scholarship number so far over and – you know, I, if you if you end up having to let some guys <clears throat> go or encourage them to leave and or, you know, at least at, at the very least, not have the scholarship available to them. Um, it's it, it, it could get kind of murky, could get very interesting as far as how many. I mean, because we know uh, hardcore Husker football fans know, um, you know, most of the names on the team. And if you have to you have to cut that down to 85 where they're at somewhere around 100. You know, you can't cut 15 names without getting some notables on there. I would be terrified, <laughs> you know, just to have to worry about getting cut from a college football team. That's not the American dream of college football, because once you sign that scholarship, they're, they're supposed to be yours for four years. It is you now. Know? Yeah. I mean, it's just the, 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 the way it have turned political for college football this it's ridiculous money wise though it's all everything's about money but if i was a kid i would be terrified to have to do to, to sign here a year ago and now i have to worry about my spot on this team because this is this isn't what i what i signed up for is is to go battle somebody like a, a nfl team you shouldn't have to do that in college football because you they've giving you the opportunity to come play you know they wanted you they you know this is not the way college football is supposed to be so you know i think that's kind of wrong on either way you look at it because nobody deserves to get cut or i have to or have to you know battle like this for college football i mean it's just ridiculous how, how these kids are you know it's it's said it most of them up for failure because you don't know how some of these kids are going to take this i mean if you know, if if that was the count, you wouldn't have to cut him. You would say, hey, you just tap a guy on the shoulder now and say, hey, look, we think you'd be better at Corning. We think you'd be better at Peru State. We think you'd be better here. You know, don't just, you know, just throw the kid flat out on their face because this is not what they signed up for. Yeah, I'm sure that they're, you know, going to to help the kids on their next destination, I suppose. And But, again, this is just – this is the – intrigue of it all is to see what the the plan is because we don't necessarily have an idea and, and you know you're not supposed to say guys getting cut from a college football team because like you said traditionally that's just now how it works um college football is more and more every day becoming you know pro football professional football league um and 
I don't know. I mean, I, I think it is, it, it doesn't come off as the most endearing to some of the, the current roster, but if you're a coach and you're thinking these days, you don't, you don't get four or five years just to get your guys in. And uh, so you're, if you're thinking about job stability, I mean, I think we've talked about for years, how Nebraska has kind of been innovative and in, in getting, you know, getting things uh, going and that kind of gives them a boost to their program over the years. I think this is one of those situations. And, and again, it, 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 it's, it's maybe not best for the kids, but if there is a plan behind all this to say, you know, at, at this point we, we have enough, you know, the, the NIL collectives or, or, or whatever is going to be able to function so that Nebraska has the equivalent of more than 85 scholarship players. And that's a huge boost for Nebraska. So if that's the plan, more power to them. And that's going to be great. If the plan is, is just to kind of, uh, you know, <laughs> go through this camp and, and figure out because these guys, you have to realize, um, you know, they've been told and they believe that, you know, you have to, you know, that they're going to make the team. Otherwise they wouldn't be here. They would have already looked for the transfer portal. Yeah, I mean, um, so, so the fact that they're fighting through spring, I just, I, I, I'm, in, I'm very intrigued by what the plan is. Yeah. It, it, somebody's got to be the villain. Mm -hmm. So somebody got to tell these kids and, and you know, this is, it's going to go a good way and a bad way because now these kids have social media that they can post. And, and 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 parents can post things that was said or show letters and i just don't like the the way how this all goes down for you know just for uh not not just say a coaching change but trying to change the the direction of a program you still should honor that kid for four years i mean like i said i mean back in the days kids then if they they got kicked off the football team they still honor their scholarships, you know, they they wasn't kicked off the university. They just was not on the team. So that's just should still be a focus point. Well, I think they kids. they do have I think a limit because of the new coach that you can do that with. I think ten guys mm -hmm. uh, where they could still get you know the scholarship, um, but not be on the team. I don't know how many of those guys would want that. Maybe there are a few. Yeah, I mean, um, but you know, others would be looking to transfer. Some guys that that's late in their career, like late juniors. If yeah. you if you're a junior and you didn't play. And you didn't play, and and you're not expected to play. You you might want to take that medical red shirt or medicals or however they say it. You know where you don't have to play football anymore. You just keep going to school and getting your education because this is what it's all about. Really, though, it's more about the education than it it is football because they're giving you the free education. Now, you know if you're one of those guys that might if you don't ever think you'll play on the field. I mean, this is the best chance for you to just go to school and get your education. Yeah, I mean, I understand that you. You would like to be that body in practice that get hits on and, and you know, just to have the gear and stuff. But sometimes you just you know it, that they're not thinking about you. So you need to start thinking about yourself in this in some of these situations. Yeah. And some of the, the text line response here, Dave Braska says they're not guaranteed. Scholarships are renewed annually. I believe that's how it used to be. I think the, the NCAA a few years ago um, made it so that you do get a four year scholarship. Again, that doesn't guarantee you a spot on the team. Um, but as far as your school is taken care of, uh, 7162 says they won't get cut. Uh, they, they will see the writing on the wall and leave because they won't play. It happens every year, not just to this scale. Well, that's right. I mean, again, and that's why you don't use the word you necessarily cut. But guys, I mean, that's kind of what it is. It, yeah. You know, <laughs> you know and, and as far as them seeing the writing on the wall, you know who, who helps them see the writing on the wall is the coaches. They bring them into the office. They yeah. kind of tell them, you know. Who's going to be that, that guy that gives the bad news? I mean, <laughs> right. There's a bad are, news. Are you going to let JT down there, the equipment guy? Or are you let him <laughs> post, post sticky notes on the, you're out of here, on, yeah. on, on somebody? I just uh, I just highly think encouraged it's a, it's, transfer. Yeah, deals. It's, it's it's dangerous. I just feel like, I mean, if this is what college football turned into every year, I, I'm glad it's not the time when I played because when we played, it it was it was it was an honor just to have a scholarship and an honor to go to college. So you know, it, it, it's it's a lot just to just to try to focus on on football and school with 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 knowing in the back of your mind that hey, my number could be called the next day. So it's not a feeling that any kid you, you don't want to make it like the NFL because you, you're gonna make it. You're gonna make a kid feel like that. And that's and getting cut from the NFL is probably one one of the worstest feelings that I ever had. And I couldn't be imagine being a, a kid going through this same thing at the age of twenty, age of eighteen, nineteen, just 
hey, look, you're not good enough. To, but I was good enough to go here four years ago, four years ago, but you're not good enough for here now. So that's going to be, oh, boy. Yeah. I'm just I'm glad I'm not that guy who's going to give out them phone calls. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's there's going to be some 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 bad news there for a few guys. Again, um, it's it's not ultimately you know uh, likely for most of these guys. I mean, I think you can cut it down to the point that you're going to be able to keep guys on scholarship that want to stay if they don't want to play. I think you'll be able to get uh, guys that want to keep playing to other schools uh, and maybe get scholarship opportunities there. Um, but it's uh, it is going to be. It's going to be interesting. And, you know, it is it's one of those things that's just going to be a storyline. And, and and it really is. I mean, it is going to be interesting. It's go, it's going to um, you know, there's a lot of these guys that are maybe down on the depth chart or whatever that some people see potential in and, and, and have been rooting for. And, um, you know, they, it, it, I, I just I, I wonder if that's around the corner again. The other the alternative there is and, and maybe I don't know. Again, I, I think a lot of schools or maybe you'll see them get to this eventually. You, sure, you have the eighty-five scholarship limit, but yeah, if you can throw it, out some more nil money to to get a hundred scholarship players on you know, with an eighty-five scholarship limit, any any you know, word that's on, an advantage. Any any word on uh, Alante Brown and the the what Hunter Anthony? Any word was any anything that ever came out of that? Because it it it, it, it amazes me to see a kid that was a two-year contributor to this team and. And all of a sudden, he's just you know he's he's wiped off the map. Yeah, I haven't I haven't heard anything or seen anything um, there. It's worth monitoring. You know, we've seen guys um, enter the transfer portal, get back at you know get back with Nebraska or attempt to do so and not know. be able to I do so. Know. I'd rather have a guy who's been here for two years than a guy who got up and ran. Mm. Well, we'll we'll see. But uh, I, I think that that was part of the thing with Alante Brown. We'll see. I mean, again, never close the door. Never say never. Um, but it seemed like he was recruited over a little bit there. So uh, by guys that were on the roster previously, <laughs> we'll take a quick break here on the, the captain. We'll be right back today. It's just myself, Jake Bachman and the all American Terrell Farley. We'll be back at 93, seven ticket.